Today I'm going to give you a quick overview on how I take pictures on macro photography using the 5D Mark IV, the 65mm MPE 1-5X, and the MT26EX Twin Flash. So, let's get to it. Okay, so the bug is, uh, he's, he's had his fill of water so he's moving around now. But I got him on the napkin, I got my little background holder that I like to use to just change the color up. Um, so with him moving it's going to be a little more challenging, but that's okay, because that's usually what I see in the field. Uh, I'm at 2 to 1. Yeah, this is a manual focus lens. So there's two shots. And I'm manually focusing. I'm going back and forth a little bit to um, get his eye in focus. Now he's on my finger, which is okay. So I'll, I'll time the shots. I don't. I don't usually. Um, get it right the first time. So, um, also, I'm going to switch my white balance. Uh, I'm on auto white balance right now. I'm going to switch that to uh, 4800 on the Kelvin. Uh, he wants to fly. And that just, um, that's for this flash setup, that's what works best for me um, to look closest to natural light. If you use auto white balance, it's a lot warmer uh, the picture. But yeah, so he's moving around quite a bit. I'm just rotating and taking photos as he moves. And when a bug gets on you and he's moving around, it's really hard to take their photo. Get back on this napkin. And I'll just take a few more pictures. Cool. And Tanner moving. Now, um, for fun, I like to keep zooming in when I have a bug. So now I'm going to go to 3 to 1. And when I go to 3 to 1 on the MPE, I'm going to drop my f-stop from f14 just down to f13. And the hardest thing is finding your focus. If you do it every day, um, you get used to it. I'm going to drop it back down to 2 since, well, I'm going to go to 1 to x since He's flapping his wings out, and that'll look cool. So, and then I'll bump it back up to F14. And yeah, I just I just do this. I play around with the bug until it um, runs away or flies away. This one's been pretty. Pretty good. All right, now he's back to drinking. So I'll go back up to three to one, up 13. Some close ups. Yeah. And there's that, and then you, you know, if I go to four to one, uh, that's F10, and that's just to get the eye sharp. Uh, if you use higher than that, um, the eyes look a little blurry, just the way light bends. Uh, I, I can't fully explain it, but that's just what I know. So, four to one, four to one's a little trickier. Because all I can really see right now is his head. 
and yeah, I'm gonna put him down see if he'll uh, slow down. All right, I put the bug on this pair of shorts and he seems to be holding still, which is great. So back to the lens, 4X, F10, and I'm manually focusing. And I really like to rest the, the lens on my thumb just to, to steady it. So if you can have control of whatever the bug is on, it makes it easier because you're moving the bug more than you're moving the camera. You want to get that as steady as you can, and I found just resting on my thumb like that makes a huge difference. And he may be eating my shorts. <laughs> That's funny. And since he is steady, I'm going to go to 5X. I don't usually use this. Um, 5X all the way extended uh, F9. I don't use it because it's really, really hard to uh, find the focus on a moving, moving bug. And you have a shallow depth of field at the F9. So this is a good one to focus stack. And to focus stack good, you need a bug that's relatively steady and not moving. Otherwise, the pictures won't line up very well. Okay. So, to recap, it's, that's, you know, the diffused flash makes a world of difference. I'll, I'll take, uh, take the, I'll turn the flash off just to show you, and I'll go to two to one, and I'm going to go ISO auto, and I'm going to go into shutter priority mode and just do one two hundredth so I don't get any shake and I'll take a few pictures with this natural light it's yeah, really dark because the camera gets in the way of the light making it really challenging. So now you can I'll have to cut this out probably, but I'm gonna still try it. And there, okay. So two eight, <laughs> wide open. There we go. Just to show you the difference. The flash makes a world of difference and you can do different diffuser setups. I really like the twin flash, it, they, they were built like when you put this the MPE and the MT26EX, they just out of the box fit together. So they're, they're made for one another. And when you extend, you know, your flash moves with you, which is really important. You can't really do that as good with a diffuser set up on a speed light and there we go that's that's pretty much all I'm doing and I'll get a few other shots I have tons of background colors cards that I've used this one's one of my favorites but it's just to add some variety to the picture this is all I use it for I got tired of I was having a black background, so you can uh, you can 
change the colors out. And it makes lighting uh, the subject much easier. And it's fun. It's fun. I like, I like adding some wild colors. It works better with my little background holder, but you can you can hand hold it as well. It has to be like printed out with the flash. You can't hold your phone uh, because the flash turns your phone screen black. So you wouldn't see the colors anyway. That's cool. So there we go. That's, that's it in a nutshell. I'm not doing anything crazy. The main important thing is the lighting. Um, I'll show the side by side where I took it off and then where I had it and switching the you know fine yeah, every lens has its sharpest aperture um, and with the MPE it changes from extension to extension so 5 is 9 4 is 10 3 is 13 2 is 14, 1 you can do f16, which is the max the MPE goes, and I like keeping it at 14 just to have a little shallow depth of field on my backgrounds to make them all creamy looking instead of like a card. And yeah, and manual, manually focusing and I'm resting the... The, you know, the end of the lens on my thumb, just to, just to steady it. it. It makes a world of difference. And then, you know, you're moving the bug and the camera. You can, you know, rotate the bug to get different angles. That's why I like bugs on flowers, because you can twist the flower a little. And that's pretty much it. Uh, ask me questions in the comments below, because uh, this I've, I've tried to make this as simple as possible, so I rely a lot on the gear. And it's patience with the bugs. And I'm always focusing on the eye. That's the only time I don't focus on the eye is if I'm trying to do a focus stack. I'll start from the front and work forward just like a millimeter at a time. And the MPE, it's a little movement's a lot. You can probably barely tell I'm moving it. And yeah, there we go. That's, that's how, I, how I shoot photos, how to use the uh, MPE with the flash used and these backgrounds I have these uh, the files if you want to print them uh, I have the pictures out on the website I'll put the link in the description and yeah ask me any questions and make sure to take care of your bug once you're done shooting them I'm gonna let him go outside so he can go be free but that's all hope you liked it later okay now that we're done taking pictures of the little guy i'm going to bring him outside and i'm just going to set him set him down on the ground i found him inside so i don't know where he wants to go but i'm going to leave him with the paper towel in case he wants some more water but he's free to go wherever he pleases thanks little beetle